Uh, our water related issues are continuing. <laughs> the canal has burst its banks. No. <laughs> The water is everywhere. This is um, this is off last episode when we moved our dam. It's uh, it's having a serious knock-on effect right across the city. It's just starting to um, subside now, but yeah, water's getting everywhere where water can get. What is up, guys? Major Magpie here, and welcome back to City Skylines. This is my city of Magtropolis, and uh, yeah, Mag's the dam here is uh, just beginning to recover um, from being, wait, shoulder deep in water. <laughs> it's the aftermath of our dam moving experience, and here comes like phase three, I'm sure. Yeah, it just keeps coming. Um okay, right, we'll just let that be, but I think we've got a swimming pool up here now. Our landfill has now become a sewage area. <laughs> um but that's not where I want to spend this episode anyways. Wow, it's even climbing out of here, look at that. It's bleeding everywhere. Eh, I wanna focus on over here guys, just as the sun comes up. I need to raise a little bit more and I just wanted to put a few bits and pieces in on the beach here. Uh, get it up and going. Uh, but I do want to start with a walkway, so we can do that now. I've already got it pre-selected. Uh, and we're going for this one here, which is walkway 258. Uh, we've already used this around the city, but I do quite like it, so... I'm going to put it in here. Boom. One there. And I'm just going to do it over there for now. Let's have a look at these. Yeah, they don't look too bad. I don't like the way they step, but it doesn't matter what we put in here, it's always going to be the same because it's not level, but it'll be alright, as long as you don't look at it close up. <laughs> right, next up, I want to put in a path, and just a footpath, so that's this little beastie here, and we're going to go with a straight, yeah, straight along here, probably... So, there maybe is. Uh, and then we'll freeform that onto the main of the road. So we can just bring it around up there. Find a nice angle on here. Like that, maybe is. Yep. Yeah, it's alright. We need to toggle the lights off, as off though, because, yeah, they're not needed. Cool. Yeah, that is quite steep, that isn't it? Hmm. I don't think we can smooth it either. Which is a bit of a bummer, but never mind. Uh, okay. I think what I might do in that case then is try and lift all of the beach up to this height. If we can, is that possible? This isn't staying, this is just... I'm going to lift it up to this height and then smooth it again and see if we can get rid of some of the uh, harshness on the ramps, if you like. And uh, let's try that then. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's better. Jump down and see how steep it is now. Uh, just in a second, once I've done this. Might have to do that all the way along. Let's have a look at this then. That's much better. It's a much better angle. Uh, okay. Cool. Right, what I wanted... I put that path in there because I want to put some beaches on it. We've got some a beach resorts. I'm just going to go and find these guys. Yeah, there we go. This here is one of them. Beach version 36 by 8 uh, And I probably want to put in maybe... Uh, I don't know. Four of these. Start one there, maybe. And a space of four... And one there, space of four. One there, space of four. And let's have a look at these beasties. Yes. Beautiful. 
don't know why this car parking bay is down here. That's a bit silly, but never mind. Right, I'll dress this up with palm trees and whatnot and a bit of foliage just to take the uniformness out of it and make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, but we do have some more buildings I would like to put in. Uh, one being like a little plaza, not a plaza, uh, um, the resort. Alright guys, this is what I'm after. I've been searching for it for bloody ages, but I found it eventually. <laughs> Let your citizens and tourists enjoy the ultimate tropical beach feeling. Yes. I want to do that. Uh, it must be placed on a roadside, so we actually need to find a better place for it. Actually, over here might be a good place for it. Does it have to be? Oh, it's got to be placed on the water's edge. That's even better. Um, okay. I'm going to put it on... Can we straighten it up somewhere? Maybe it's... it's a bit steep here. That's the only thing. Yeah, I don't want it to put it there because it's far too steep. I'm going to put it here. Angle it a bit. Boom. Let's have a look at this. The pine trees grow on the beach? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not going to faff around with roads and water for this thing. I can mess about with that off cam. I'm going to have to lift all of this all the way around here and then smooth it again just to get rid of the rockiness. I'm not a fan of the rockiness and yeah, it's practically vertical. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all we've got for you. I would like to put in some tennis courts and car parks. I suppose we could do that while we're over here. There's no harm. Yeah, I was thinking maybe he's, uh, a red tennis court. Uh, and we do have one where there's a cop up there. We want to put a few of these, I think. Something like... Parking lot. Left squeeze in there. It will. I'm going to put three in. I'm going to put one there. One there. And one there. And that gives our peeps who want to visit the beach some at a park. Which is uh, always handy. You don't have to walk like 35 miles to get to the beach. Cool. Uh, although, you will have to pay to park. It'll cost a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> right, and next up is our tennis courts. Now, we've got some free plottable ones just along here. There we go, red. This is the one I had in mind. Uh, just a tennis court hard. Uh, and I want to put, like, I'll put three in. One there. One there. And then there. Right. I want to connect that with a path. So if we just get the little, the little fragile finicky path, this one in here. We'll probably put a cycle lane through here as well at some point. Maybe he's not in this episode. Let's just go freeform and we're going to start here. And just bring that around. Like so. Let's get one there. There we go. It's a cool little path. Uh, and I think I might just run it down here as well. That. And then maybe something like that as well. Why not? And I'm going to put fences in and foliage and, and that'll look pretty cool. Um, but again, I'll tackle that off cam. One thing I have started doing, guys, I, I did start in the dark and then gave up, um, was this here. This massive trench stroke trough thing. It's going to house these bad boys. I'm going for a similar sort of principle of what we had on our waste, our sewage waste treatment all the way over the other end of the city. Uh, similar sort of idea on there. But if you look at these here, every time we expand our waters, the water doesn't go as high up here. So some of these don't function at times. I'll just show you. They're the, the switching themselves off uh, when there's no water available for them uh, to pump up. So... That's the reason why I've gone so deep with this, is so it will constantly be full of water. 
Yeah, but this is the land yeah, that's going to sit on. I just need to smooth the edges and pop them in. But I'll, I'll do that over time. I've also put in this road here and joined on this road. And given these guys water, but yeah, they haven't got any electric. Uh, I do want to go ahead and put in some farming here. Uh, so I would like to put in farming and forestry. Maybe just go ahead and do that in the next episode because yeah, I was talking about farming like about 10 episodes ago and we still haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just want to take a quick look over all the tool boobs as well, guys, because I have finished these. This is them here. This is one of them. Put them all in the right locations where I want them to be, which is pretty awesome. So there's one there. Um, there is this one up here, which I still haven't managed to fettle the textures. Now, I've picked these up and moved them around, and these are identical um, tool boobs. But for some reason, when I place that one down, it changes from this one here to that. So you've got five lanes and it changes to, you know, my like three lanes and two footway things. I don't, I don't even know how it does it, I really don't. It's like, it, they look like total opposite, completely different tool boots, but they're actually identical. I've placed them in three times, I've moved them up and down the road, I've moved them backwards and forwards, I've put one in before the other and <laughs> it just doesn't change. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't want to be there, it's as simple as that, right? So that's one there. We've got another one over here. This little bad boy here, causing loads of traffic. Well, that's what they do. <laughs> so yeah, we've got that one there. And we've also got two in our industrial area, but I think you have seen these ones. There's that one there. That one's also causing traffic. And there's also this one across here, which is pretty plain sailing, this one over here. But um, yeah, basically if you want to get into downtown Manhattan or Hilltop Heights, you're going to have to pay a toll fee or bus it or train it or metro it when, when we get those services in. So <laughs> yeah, now your choice is drive in and pay the toll charge or walk. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, right. Anyways, guys, we've got an absolute ton of unique builds that I would like to put in in this episode. Um, we've got, oh, I've got them written down in front of us here, I've got about eight, eight to go in, eight that I want to get done. Uh, I have decided on a few of these where I want them to go. Uh, and I'm also debating on whether to change this, guys. You'll have to let us know whether you think they should stay here. I'm not sure if it looks right, because by the time I get this all built up in and around here, yeah, loads of skyscrapers, it's going to have a cemetery with a couple of, you know, these little bad boy advanced crematorium things just sitting there. In my yeah, in the middle of the city, so I'm not sure if they should stay. These four over the back will go. I will relocate them uh, in due course, but not at the moment. Uh, okay. What I'm going to do then? I'm going to start with a lighthouse uh, because I want to put two of these bar boys in two of these Arcadia lighthouses. Now these don't need to be attached to roads, which is always good. Uh, and I want to put one here. No, actually, we'll put it over here, on this corner. We'll put it there. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's cool. All right, so there's one in. Uh, and the other one, I think I did speak about this last time where I wanted this one to go. I did have it there. Come on. All right, I just want to head up to... Where's our shipping lanes? There we are. All right, I want to put it on this edge here. Oh, we can't put it in it again. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that because it's a unique building, isn't it? Ah, what a pain! Okay, I'll have to find another lighthouse, and there's got to be another one on the on the mod market, surely. Um, hopefully that isn't considered a unique building, and maybe it's just a decoration. But um, yeah, we've got this actually that we're going camping the last sunshine. That's that's a good place for our beach. A uh, good. Building for our beach even. Let's have a look at this, see if we can squeeze it in here somewhere. Can we get it along the front? Or maybe he's over here. He has a good place. Yeah, let's do that. Look at that. That's pretty cool, that. Yeah, what I want to do, guys, is I do want to extend this beach all the way around here, so... I know this is green at the minute, but it will it will become a beach. Obviously, I need to pick the height up and, and rejig it a little bit, but 
Yeah, right. Back up here. This is where we need to stay now. <laughs> Let's start with our level fours then. And we've got one more building and I'm coming all the way up here and I need to go back down the other end <laughs> to the beach resort again because this is where this one's going to go. Uh, this here, the National Library of Latvia. Now I was going to place this up here like many episodes ago. I did think and think about it. But I've had a change of heart and I'm going to put it in this little area down here because these guys need like something like this. A bit of fun basically. Um, so I'm going to place this in here. Uh, about there. Sorry, I know you just built your house, but it's now gone. <laughs> Let's have a look at the, the Library of Latvia. It's a strange looking thing, this. It's, uh, I'm not sure what I make of that. It's it's alright. It's, it's different, I suppose. Right. Now we're staying up here. I'm sure. I think. <laughs> Why is there loads of fire engines? Like? Oh, ambulances or whatever they are. There's like 200 of them. <laughs> Uh, we'll head to level 3. So we've got a couple of level 3s to put in. Let's go there. The first one is going to be the Ad Zenith Extra Uji Mijuji Mijuji Ju. Let's have a look and see if I can find this. I think it's this one here. Yeah, it is there. Ad Zenith Extra Atmospherics. Uh, this is a strange looking thing. On the outside. Hopefully it look good when we put it in. I was thinking somewhere up here. We've got like a little, little vacant lot here. So maybe just put it at the end of the street. I have to leave that little piddly house there, maybe. 115,000? Bang! Not a single person's happy about it, but it's in anyways. It's actually not too bad. It's a, f it's a weird shape building. It looks like a Transformers leg or something. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to pause time because it looks like it's about to go down, which it is, and we don't want that. Uh, okay. Next up in the level threes, on my little charty thing here, we've got a tropical hotel. Uh, I can't remember what the hell this looks like, so. Get the best. Okay, guys, this is it, yeah. It's this funny little beastie looking thing. Tropical hotels for tourists. Um, and I was figuring, like, a nice point might be just looking out over the river for this hotel. So, 30 grand, bang. That is a. That is a pretty funky looking building. <laughs> Okie dokie, right. <laughs> Next up, we are gonna jump down into level twos. Now, I do want to come back to level three, but we'll finish the episode with a level three. Our level two is this little beast here, the Torres El Faro in Puerto Madero. And this thing, I was thinking, that is here. Or. Yeah, would be a good place for it actually. And this is where it's going to live. I'll have to redo the path that's under here because we're going to break it. But it's not like it's going to bring the city to its knees at the minute. So fifty grand, bang! Let's put it this then. Actually, that's pretty awesome. I like that. It's cool, and it's starting to add a bit of a uh, height in and around here now. Cool. Right, one more building for this area here for now that I want to put in. And I just want to locate here. Uh, and this is just a landmark, it's a unique landmark. So it's in here. And there's this little thing here the Sao Paulo Museum of Art. And I can't squeeze it in here because I've tried. 100 grand. I'm gonna go here. Let's place it here. Boom. <laughs> I'm not sure what I make of that. 
I quite like the building, I'm not sure on the location, that's the thing. Hmm. Maybe it's a look alright once we get it built up. The, the issue I've got is from this roundabout here down to this roundabout here, that's quite a drop in height in such a short space. So you're getting a lot of big steps like this, so I'm not sure if I'm liking what I'm seeing there, but... I am... Yeah, I'm gonna leave it for now. We'll leave it for now, right. Okay, one more thing, guys, right, to leave this episode. Uh, and this is going to be our city of Magtrop. Let's feel a bit more like home. This is something that is literally, you know, about a mile away from where I live. And it is a piece of art, apparently. <laughs> so I'm just going to place a road in. Probably about there. Boom. The angle might be a bit tight, actually. I'm just going to redo that. Like that instead. Okay. Uh, and this is a level 3 unique building. Uh, and it is this thing here. It looks like an aeroplane that has crashed. <laughs> the angel of the north. Which is beautiful and the slope is too steep. No, it's not. There it is. We can get it in there. That's cool. Right, we're gonna put it there. Fifty-five grand. <laughs> Look at her. She's beautiful. Let's just face the sun. Awesome. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. Uh, we've done quite a bit. We're getting our beach resort in. We've got a few unique buildings in. There's still a ton more unique buildings to go in. Um, but, you know, we'll have to do it slowly and all that. Um, yeah, but it's, it's, it's starting to thicken out. It's starting to thicken out. If anybody's got any suggestions of any unique buildings that they'd like to see in here, I'd be quite happy to, I'd be quite interested in hearing them. Um, but I would like a few more tall ones, like about the height of this thing here. Just a dot in around it. That's 311 Waka building. Waka Waka! But yeah, that's that's a good height for round here, because I don't want them to be much taller than that, if I'm honest. But yeah, that's alright, that's alright, I like it. Anyways guys, until the next one, thanks a lot for watching.